All right, all right. <laughs> I play Snow White, um, and I also play a character named Mary Margaret, who has forgotten that she is Snow White. Uh, she's forgotten, as she has been cursed, who she is and what she wants and whom she loves. And I play Prince Charming. Prince Charming that uh, we all know and are aware of, and he is a, uh, you know, he's a, a prince who gets his hands dirty, and he's an everyman, and uh, my uh, story Except for he can sword fight with a baby. He can sword fight with a baby. In his arms. Which is pretty good. not ass. very everyman. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> and uh, what kind of challenges does that present playing such sort of iconic characters almost? Well, I think you can't, you can't, I mean, as an actor, I mean, for me, I can't think I'm playing this iconic character. I'm playing Prince Charming. You have to play a person, you know, a person that has, you know, certain situations, you know, like everybody else, emotions just like everybody else, and the, he reacts to that the way that he does. So, I don't know, if I thought that I was playing Prince Charming every day, I don't know, the pressure would just be too great and I would crumble into fetal position and cry in the corner. And there's nothing less charming than a man trying to be charming, right? So, in general, like, when you, that's, I, you, when you try and think about things in those terms, it doesn't work. Yeah. And if you could sum up just in one sentence why we should tune in, why should we watch Once Upon a Time, what would that be? I'm going to let you take this one because you had such a good answer before. Uh, uh, it's magic, it's charming, <laughs> it has fulfillment, and it's going to entertain you.